This is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. And today is July 15, 2019. And we're doing an open discussion on relationships, uh, the do's and don'ts of human interaction. And we've done a couple of these, at least, I think, uh, live streams. And it, the topic has come up in previous live streams, no matter what we're talking about. Uh, that's the reason I, I've been sort of every couple of months or so doing a live stream on just straight up relationships um, just to have a sort of a dedicated time where we can talk about some of these things um, there's something that came up even yesterday when we were talking about uh, personal finance and investing and stuff like this and uh, someone mentioned that uh, they had a roommate where the roommate you know isn't doing or didn't clean the kitchen after they were done so dirty dishes would pile up and that is you know no matter who you are if you're friends living together if you're just roommates that you know ended up uh hello x how are you doing uh nicholas how are you chicho love the shirt bro thanks but i got it as a present uh from uh, my aunt she has she has good taste it's nice a nice summary nice summary so Rua, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. Is Monday, I guess. Having a fantastic Monday. Hannah, how's life? You must be at work, Hannah. Are you? Or just getting off work? As we're finishing off the thought I had, to, uh, no matter who you're living with, one of the things you have to take care of is respect the common space for uh, in that commune, really. That you're living with either your partner wife husband family siblings friends just people you guys may have encountered each other where one person is renting a room in a house another person is renting another room or multiple other people right the common areas when you're done with them you need to clean them okay if you're done using the living room if you're living with, with a bunch of people in a house uh, one of the best things that i've seen people do is everybody gets a little box or a box on the ground like a case where they can keep stuff that they use on a regular basis in that box and whenever they're in their living room where they are they bring it on and they use it and when they're done they put their crap away right martin how are you doing how's life going to my girlfriend's parents house for dinner nice what are you taking are you taking some wine did you make any dessert did you say you're going to take care of the dessert? They, they must be feeding you well if they're inviting you for dinner. I'm assuming you've done that a few times. Good morning. Zachap. Good morning. I see it. Ah, nice. You don't, someone's not playing Call of Duty. Yesterday you were having streaming problems, right? Or it's a, a communal network. Right. Call my book Jedi. How are you doing? Good morning. It's 1 a.m. here in the UK. <laughs> Sorry about the late late stream. It's like 5 p.m. here. Chill time. I'm bringing some local cider and ice cream from Fred Meyers. Nice. Delicious. King, how are you doing? Yo, yo flashwood fumble hey it's been a while uh, you usually go live while i'm at work uh, do i flash wool fumble i'm assuming you're in north Can uh, north america our time zone can the united states yeah i've been doing a lot of stuff in the in the mornings it's just i like, get up and do stuff right but slowly i'm gonna start kicking into later hours that mineral collection back there really rocks a lot of socks. Nice double O negative. What are you doing? These ones are mine. This is stuff I accumulated over a decade of doing geophysics, right? I posted some pics on Gab, Mines, and Twitter where um, yesterday we gave uh, the rock and rock mineral and crystal collection that we put out a video for. We gave most of those a wash uh, bath in the water to clean them and gave them some sun and laid the, our 
we're slowly starting to lay them out again Lo these ones uh, yeah here let me show you one of these this one I like it's a coarse sample okay from iron ore deposits basically or mineral deposits right rare earth as well I guess uh, from a mine in Canada uh, Sudbury Ontario and during the 90s it was one of the I think the deepest mine in North America it was crazy active and it's basically minerals formed because of a crater impact and a crater that asteroid that hit it was huge right if you look at the footprint of uh, the spiral the circle uh, from the hit it spans so much area and I, I believe it was uh, six kilometers down I think so anyway if I recall correct it was a huge operation crazy and this was one of the core samples from way down at the bottom right so that was super cool <laughs> cider it's lots of cider love drinking cider now I love a local cider brewed in Lake Sheelan Washington wow Lake Sheelan I don't know where the really Lake Sheelan is local breweries on the Pacific Northwest are amazing bit of a weird question do you watch ASMR videos yourself for relaxation and if so have you watched your own uh, King it's not a weird question uh, I did watch more in the past but since I started creating a lot of ASMR and editing a lot of ASMR I don't get a chance to watch too much ASMR however I do watch some I watch some uh, from um, oh man I'm gonna brutalize the name uh, math oh my god let me find it let me see uh, where's oh I see on the other computer I watch it on the main one main computer um, she's making math videos ASMR I brutalize the name I, I do watch that one thing that gives me ASMR which I get the not the necessarily I don't get the tingles but I get the full-on relaxation too is listening to lectures that where the lectures are very it, it varies on the on the speaker so certain lectures allow me to really relax 100% um, I do watch certain uh, my preference is certain types of uh, mathematics physics science related uh, information or how to do things that sometimes in general most of the times they're unintentional right so it's not forced where they're talking about a certain topic that I'm interested in and I find myself uh, dozing off coming to going back and stuff uh, it's it's weird I don't I don't I don't watch role play I'm not really into role play I do appreciate some of the sets that are made they're brilliant right fantastic and the lighting and stuff um, but I'm not really into role play and I do uh, and I used to watch this a lot more was the tapping right on specifically um, that what do you call it hard covers hard books with the nails tapping twitching right um, and I sort of phase in and out of them right uh, and I do watch my own I do watch my own uh, when I'm either trying to remember what I did sometimes I watch it and I just got a huge smile on my face and I relax and I pass out to my own video watching it which is I don't know if that's weird or not but it is what it is right how you been Chicho uh, doing good what did you do today man I I did a whole bunch of stuff in the morning and then before the stream uh, I had some time so I was loading up uh, comic books on eBay right so I loaded up Infinity Gauntlet number one Silver Surfer number 50 and X Factor number 63 to 69 on eBay now eBay's listings man they're scammers man seriously they got automated things set up to help them generate more money not to your preferences right so the 
the comics I listed like a couple of days ago, the first comics I listed on eBay, uh, it automatically was clicking on make an offer, right? So I would set a minimum price and then make an offer. And I had someone make an offer and I went, oh, make an offer is on. It's not supposed to be on. So I had to go back and turn them off, right? And I sent a message to the person. I apologize. I said, you know, I didn't mean to do that. But, you know, I, I have to reject your offer because that's the minimum I'm going for, right? And then today, the three, I had more lined up to list today. And the, th the three I was listing today, I put the minimum price and there's no tick that I have to untick for the make it offer not to appear. So the three that I listed today have the minimum price on it and then it's got the make it offer and I can't turn that off. <laughs> I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know if it's, it's them intentionally messing with people to have the make it offer because in the last two or three years, I've seen people have a minimum price they want to start off at and then there's a make an offer and that sort of confuses me because usually you just say buy it now and make an offer right it just doesn't make sense minimum price and make an offer so i bought some stuff that way i make an offer and people say accept and i'm like okay weird uh why didn't they just price it at the lowest level so i think that's the reason people were doing that because there was there's that glitch that doesn't allow you to take it off so apologies to those people who are going to make offers uh, those are sort of my minimum price i might start accepting them i don't know Your video yesterday morning with the uh, black currant bush is my new favorite chill out video of yours. <laughs> nice, awesome, Nicholas. <laughs> Relax me, something serious. Watched it three times now. Nice, Nicholas. I'm glad you like. I liked it. I loved it actually. The way it came out, I was doing lots of work and I was just. It was early morning, and I'm just getting up and doing all this stuff. And I'm like, man, I gotta. I want to shoot this video just because of the what was going on with Assange. Like. Politics builds a little fire under me, right? So I try to get more done when I get a little pissed. <laughs> pissed or I wanna do I wanna do something, I wanna contribute and I wanna make it in a way where you get a little bam, that would be amazing, and then you do it, right? You guys must have had that, right? Whenever every now and then something comes up and you're like, Man, it'd be great to do this, and then you go, I'm gonna go do this, and then you do it, and it's phenomenal, right? that that's sort of what happens to me when i start going hey wait a second da, 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 da. that rock from afar looks like a giant giant you know, on the <laughs> nice <laughs> awesome maybe that's why i grabbed it and they were asking people they brought the core samples there was core samples sitting there right and they were like do you anybody want to take a sample i was like yes and it was like a field trip thing that we had done through schools one of our last it was the last uh, uh project that we had to do right and it was like 10 of us or eight of us or something and i think two of us said sure we take a core sample the rest of the people didn't i don't know why right kicks open door who's got the cider <laughs> this is so fun. hey dante how are you doing welcome to the live stream double one negative double one negative that's awesome. Did you run into many fossils? Don't you? Yeah, some. Canada is infested with fossils. Yeah, but not necessarily doing my geophysics. During my school day, school years, university years, and some of the projects where I was um, not necessarily doing geophysics. Because when you're doing geophysics, you're not looking at the rocks, right? So early on during my education, a little bit of training, I accumulated my fossils. And I had a full-on trilobite this big. That it was a trilobite fully preserved right and i had a i have friends and their daughter at the time was at my place and she looked at the trilobite played around with it she was like she was loving it and they're really close friends so i told her she could take it and she goes oh, she got really excited and while she was getting excited she dropped it <laughs> and the fossil cracked in half right and we're, we're all like oh my god right because I had had that for like 20 years, right? And then we picked it up and she was really sad. She applied, I go, it's okay, it's your trilobite now, right? And I looked at it and I went, oh, look at this. The uh, outline of the trilobite, you can see it. So it turned out to be really cool because it was a clean cut. 
So you could see the trilobite, the whole trilobite with the sort of a cross section of the trilobite. It was really cool. Evening, Benabai. Valiance, how are you doing? How's life? If Chicho wants to say Savari, he just talks to himself. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen you here. Yeah, Valiance, that's right. Yeah, unintentional is best uh, for me. Yeah, for me too. I love unintentional. Except, uh, except boxer Chris Upark. I always watch his interviews. Has a very like. Oh, really? I think I've never come across him. If you remember, King, uh, post this in uh, Discord in ASMR. Uh, link to a video of his or something. Okay, that'd be great. Deck man, how are you doing? How's life? Valiance, thanks for the prime subscribe. I think you've been seven months now. <laughs> You're probably one of our longest. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, rotary propulsion is non-trivial. It requires a solution in theoretical physics. Ah, yes, how are you doing? How's life? Theoretical physics. I'm good, thank you. Had my law exams. I've been bus busy working finally have some time free now wow wow you finished your law exam on this that's cool how did the exams fare he says he asks chicho how's it going brother richard doing well man doing well thank you those were some interesting berries i never uh seen them before until your video i've never picked them either i've never grown uh, black currants right they have a very they're very different than red currants we've had red currants in the yard and we've made yet current red red current jam and stuff in a previous location uh at my grandmother's house uh, but black currants very different taste cater yo chicho yeah hey cho <laughs> hey hey cater cater god got any vids by the way kids no no oh my god that's a lot of work. Matcha's back. For respect to those who have decided to raise children. Uh, I am too selfish for that uh, endeavor. I did well. Happy all the hours paid off. Nice. Congrats, Valiance. Dinosaurs were awesome. I love dinosaurs. <laughs> Me too. Thank you, Jens. Valiant says, what's the story with the stones behind you? They're all basically rock mineral crystals that I've collected over the years. This one's cool. I haven't shown these. I do plan on making a triple set video for these because I have the cards for the names of these. I forgot them all. And I have... Uh, I have uh, formula sheets for these, so I'm gonna make a triple set. I'll try to anyway. That's in the in the thing. This one's super cool too. Hey, look. These are uh, I forget what the names are. Very cool. Nice crystals. Okay, I'm not gonna. Yeah, let me hold this. Because over time, they. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, let me pop out the chat that way. I'm gonna. Pop out chat. Oh, so that means I missed a whole bunch of chat gang. Sorry. My apologies. I forgot to do. It all went blank <laughs> on the chat. I think we're still live. Yeah, we're still live. But I lost the chats. Oops. But I'm putting, uh, what do you call it? Uh, comic book board under it because over time, it's got other stuff in it, so it sort of falls. And I don't want it to fall on the computer, right? Nice crystals. These are quartz, right? 
Same with the other one. The other one supports as well. I gotta give these gun these ones a wash too. As you try and make your kids better, though, it can make you better uh, person too. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that happen with, uh, with parents. Now I click pop out chat and I can't remember what I put. <laughs> I know the feeling. Uh, bright burn, bright burn, bright burn. If there's one language you would recommend the world to learn apart from English, what would it be? Mathematics, without a doubt. Mathematics. Uh, everyone should be literate in the language of mathematics. More important than English. Good evening. Arkana side, good evening, how are you doing? You'll be on my phone in my pocket tonight with my headphones while I pack some things before my move. Oh, you're doing a move tomorrow. Had to retype. Oh, sorry, Arkana side, sorry. So you're doing a move tomorrow, man. I don't wanna move for a while. I did too many moves in the last few years. A pro computer programming language, yeah, for sure. But if you're gonna do co programming language, if you don't know mathematics, you can't do programming. Uh, you need to know mathematics to be able to do programming. With the math, mathematics opens the door for everything. Almost everything. Mashu, how are you doing? Good evening, Chicho. Beautiful burrow's tail succulent behind you. And this one? This is burrow's tail? That's cool. It's nice. We had it in another room. I brought it here. I'm going to repot it give us some fresh soil move actually isn't until next week just getting a head start yeah good good idea are gonna sign boxes liquor stores have good boxes farmers find alien baby try to teach it to be a good person alien child kills them <laughs> morbid That's the ultimate fear for Superman. It's like Superman story, but evil, yeah. Uh, Surua, uh, there are alternate reality, alternate version uh, of Superman stories where Superman goes evil. He becomes a tyrant. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Silva's like sweet Jesus Martin. <laughs> Do you know how to make a uh, triple sec? Triple sec, triple sec, triple sec, triple sec, triple sec. That's a drink, right? I've had triple sec, but I can't remember what it is. I think it's a drink. It's like three different things mixed together. Do do poo pro. How are you doing? Welcome to a stream. Red Sun is a great soups evil story. Yeah and uh, injustice injustice is cool i read the first injustice set Th uh, those were really good man uh, i haven't read the uh, i haven't read the last uh, rest but at some point i'd like to read more of it multi-billion pound building in london any bank any bank it's a what if soups landing in soviet russia instead of the usa cool i actually haven't read that one the red sun one I've heard good things about it though. I have Gotham by Gaslight. That's great. First crossover comic. Is Gotham by Ga Gaslight the first crossover comic? No. Is it? Still waiting for the story of Superman putting that life behind him and opening up a gamma shop. <laughs> I only little I only read a little Fantastic Four when I was a kid. Never read comics otherwise. Yeah, Fantastic Four out of the superhero team stuff, that's by it was my least favorite, really. I didn't like the childish banter. The family banter. I know that was one of the appealing factors of uh, Fantastic Four, but I, I just wasn't really too into it. Uh, is there a Mosh Bede Smart Concert uh, stories video? I said I hope so. <laughs> Concert. Uh, maybe 
Maybe. Maybe. Uh, there are stories that I've wanted to share. I just haven't got it, got around to it, man. And definitely ASMR format is, is the way to go with some of them. Because some could be a little harsh, right? Red Sun is the only Superman comic I've read. Wow, Dante. I gotta read that. Or Speeding speeding Bullet. Batman, Superman. Same character. Oh, man. The Injustice storyline is so crazy good. I've never read the comics. But I've watched the cutscenes from the video games on YouTube. Yeah. The... By the way, I can aside, amazing story. After reading the comics, what I did, I watched the cutscenes as well. It's like an hour and 20 minutes of just basically like a movie. It's the cutscenes from the video game. There's some stuff you won't know what's going on unless you've read the comic uh, or have an idea of what, what is going on to a certain degree. But that cutscene uh, animation is fantastic. Fantastic. Super fun to watch. One time I was there's one post I made on my blog uh, that references that here let me find that you'll you'll find it interesting if you like that story um, Superman flash <laughs> I called it I called it uh, Oh yeah, it's down here. Okay, cool. Uh, Injustice Gods Among Us. Uh, check this out. I called it Super Schooling Superman on Totalitarianism. Superman and the Flash have a discussion about gun control while playing chess. And I put this out in 2013. At the time, I was... Uh, what do you call it? I was... Uh, writing some articles, political articles... Uh, by referencing overlaying it with some comic book stories uh, i liked it one time i was in a mosh pit and got caught cut by a giant glass ball oh what kind of an idiot takes a bong into a mosh pit and there was glass all over the floor very day. oh yeah man that people should have prevented that thing like from going into a mosh pit with a bong usually you take your glasses off unless you really need them right and one of the general rules in a mosh pit is no rings and anything that it can catch someone and cut someone, right? Unless you're going, I don't know, I, I don't go to the, I guess, the blood versions of mosh pits. I've been in shows and stuff where people are breathing, they've, they've been hit, there's blood on people's shirts and stuff, but not taking glass into a mosh pit is crazy. I didn't like the FF them th themselves either, but Doc Doom, yeah, Doctor Doom, became my favorite comic book character, not just villain. Yeah, uh, Doctor Doom was amazing. They, they definitely have not done it justice or done him justice in the movies. Not even close. Like, oh, they, if anything, they've done harm, right? Doctor Doom is fantastic. I've been in one mosh pit in my life and spent 90% of it on the floor after being in the balls <laughs> someone kicked me in the balls no no haven't joined into one since uh, I think the mosh pits I've gone to here are a little bit more civil than where you guys are if you're in the UK I think there's punk uh, more punk uh, uh, the ones that slant more towards the punk era they're a little bit more harder more towards metal is less so i think first else else world's comic which one the red sun no uh, or injustice the injustice i think yeah since this stream is on is on relationships what's uh, been the most meaningful relationship in your life and what was the least uh expected thing it taught you uh the most meaningful relationships in my life are the ones that no longer exist right either through circumstance or through the people passing away and whatnot the ones who are who are who have passed away i would say those are the most meaningful there are also relationships that i've had that for a long time and you know we've gone our you know we've gone different paths and we decide to 
uh, not stay in contact anymore, right? Even though we agree that if ever the need arises, we could always rely on each other, right? So the, the relationship that no longer exists you know, are in general the ones that have been the most important to me because it's after the fact. You, there's, a, there's certain things that come into play when they're not there anymore, right? Uh, but there are definitely meaningful relationships I have right now that are just as intense. Uh, but, you know, there's no missing factor there because I am constantly getting them. I'm pretty sure they're going to kick into the wow i wish i could have that again right uh, for sure family lovers uh, loved ones it's hard to say there's there's a lot as well as uh, entheogens <laughs> i won't elaborate on that anymore but th that is a relationship that you have to nurture foster grow and work with finally watched Lobo was awesome Martin people on comic book forums okay were trash talking the Lobo right I'm like you guys are out of your mind it was fantastic there were some that were trash talking initially I read up some that the initial reports came and oh if this is Lobo why does Lobo have an accent and stuff I'm like the accent what does it matter he's an alien like how do you know he doesn't have an accent how do you know he doesn't have a British accent? Like, so they were trash talking her for no reason, which is some one of the things that exists in the comic book world, right? But for those three episodes, fantastic! I loved it, right? Could it have been better? Hundred percent, right? It wasn't a Chicho Lobo, but it was a. I appreciate the interpretation of that Lobo, and it was pretty sweet, pretty fun, right? Gotham by Gaslight. I've watched videos online of it beforehand and thought it looked uh, fun. But in the UK, they actually uh, throw hands. It's like UFC on drugs. Yeah, definitely not for me. Yeah, the UK of stuff I've seen is way hard, way more hardcore than here. It, it, I think it's uncalled for to a certain degree, but that's from the punk coming up, right? Uh, punk origin was New York to a certain degree and uh, Ramones. Uh, I believe they're one of the first ones to be credited with the Ramones took a trip to the UK and they did like really small bars and then I, someone correct me if I'm off on this and then the Sex Pistols saw the Ramones and they're like we're gonna start and then the whole thing took, took off with the Clash and stuff but the Clash was around before them I believe hard punk anyway I just read the comic and the article you linked me to that was awesome that's one of the things I loved about the story the embodiment of the saying you either die the hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain nice yeah i really like that it's, it's a great series well worth reading well worth reading and I, you know what i can't even remember if i've read the whole thing or not i think i've read it but i can't remember i just remember snippets of it right and of course the the cutscenes. i think that's what really sticks with me now the harshest breakups are the best lessons in my experience Silva yeah with every relationship it's like reading a book but over time eventually you know whether or not you're going to enjoy it after reading the first chapter sometimes it does get better sometimes you misjudged it and it just keeps on getting better and better and better and those are amazing as well right um, but breakups for sure it, the relationships we're not like we're not the sum of one relationship it's our totality right all the relationships we've been in and if you can learn from your relationships that's where it's at right if you can even the relationships you don't like you learn from each other you grow uh, there's a lot to be said there it's nine episodes now or will be which one But I think Lobo, uh, Martin, if we're talking about Lobo, um, is Lobo still in it? I stopped watching episode three because Lobo kills, well, takes out Brainiac to a certain degree. They saw him with a little flash. And I don't think he appears in future 
Krypton episodes. If he does, let me know. I'll watch those episodes as well. I'm not actively following Krypton. Hey Chicho Chat. Hope everyone is well. Making dinner right now, so I can only pop in for a minute or so. Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Looking forward to the uh, to chatting the recorded version later tonight. Cool, cool, cool. Hope you have a fantastic dinner, Twitching Jason. Shut up, people. Oh, what P556? What are you, like two years old? Damn. I got a little kid here. <laughs> this is about relationships, man. <laughs> Oh, Martin, you timed him out. I timed him out, too. He's got a double time out, I guess. <laughs> Hurt by anything. I think... No, I don't think... I don't think uh, Wat P was hurt by anyone. I think Wat P needs to be loved by someone. Right? On that level. Uh, and he might be loved by family and stuff, but someone that sees him as more than just a child right more than just an infant uh, that type of mentality that type of whatever you call it interaction <laughs> it's not interaction <laughs> that type of behavior requires growth and the only way you get that kind of growth is by fully committing to a relationship of your own choosing with someone else that also feels the same way right it's not you're not just surrounded by relationships you were born into and forced into it is your growth right so i wish them the best i hope i hope they do get that at some point right i had a few experiences with entheogens but didn't respect them enough at the time so they taught me harsh lessons yeah those are some of the most amazing learning uh, experiences I'm feeling the call again though and this time I'm going to take some time and effort to respect them um, our theme hundred percent hundred percent I think anyone that has delved into the realm of methogens has uh, uh, the one of the first lessons you learn if you continue for any extent of period any any amount of time is uh, you show respect hundred percent and uh, it takes commitment it's a hard relationship it's a different and some of the greatest relationships you'll ever 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 have in your life will be the hardest relationships you've ever had in your life right so entheogens fit into that category 100 percent hey nice to see the shillingans Needs more love, more love, more love. It's, need some five fifty six. Tell you what. Hopefully, someone can show him love in his life. <laughs> That's good. Aerodynamic man, aerodynamic. You'd be amazed uh, to the worlds that this allows you to enter. Okay, really. Uh, I don't think people really appreciate. Like for me. I took on this look before I was balding I shaved my head right when I had massive hair right I shaved my head and once I shaved I was like oh my god this is and all of a sudden a doorway opened up uh, into certain types of relationships I could get into that I couldn't get into when I had a full set of hair martin will attest to this working in a bar once you hang out in certain scenes there are certain uh i'm not going to be you know apologies for not being political correct or whatever there are certain kinks there are certain fetishes there are certain uh desires that people have that you can fulfill <laughs> right <laughs> hopefully someone can show him some love i've had two relationships but around 60 encounters you were you're in a bar martin 
I was surprised the ratio of relationships to encounters is so high. I would assume it would be 1 for 60 or something. Big fat zero. To be honest, um, horror of my own. <laughs> the day Chicho was born. Funny. Too many secrets. Shh, too many secrets. My breakup sucks ma majorly because of the time period we were together and I struggled to move on. But now it's kind of changed my personality a lot. I went from being a one woman man to playing the field for the first time in my life and I'm no longer looking anything serious for the foreseeable future, which is new to me. Haha, <laughs> nice Nicholas. It's, it's amazing to explore that realm, right? There are people who I know, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows, that have been in a one relationship for their whole lives, right? Or majority of their lives. And the mindset, the lifestyle choices that comes with that are different than the lifestyle choices you can have. Um, and it's not that one is better than the other. It's just different worlds where you're more open, right? It's the same level of having children with someone, trying to raise children as being together and deciding, you know, not having children together, right? Congrats, Nicholas. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying the ride stand for your information it is higher ratio but i was being polite <laughs> oh it's higher ratio man you're good then that's good man you're lucky i started receding slightly at 21 and just said to myself nope not gonna try hold on to this zoop <laughs> buzzed it straight off best thing i ever did yeah for me too i had a lot of hair in late teens early 20s and then early 20s i took it off right before and it was amazing it was amazing i never went long hair again uh for your information is higher rate oh yeah that's yeah that was me from the age of 22 nicholas yeah that's a long time man that's a long time see yeah silva and i and i do you cut your own hair i cut my own hair uh so it saves you a ridiculous amount of money free haircuts every week in the bathroom yeah i don't do every week i do every uh i don't know three weeks or so it takes two minutes yeah for me it takes like five minutes right i have more hair because <laughs> it's longer weeks but it, and it feels good you do it yourself and you're like Ch -ch 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 -ch. yeah i like it too highly recommend highly recommend i have loads of hair at 45 years old I'm so thick though. <laughs> so funny. I also brought some tea. I look like cousin it. What's a cousin it? Relationships, relationships. And relationships go beyond just human beings, just one on one, right? It's communal, it's family, it's business, it's corporate it's uh, government the way nations relate to each other and stuff and the way you relate to we relate to different levels as well right there's so much to be i think a lot of conflict in the world is because uh, people don't really understand that relationships take effort to maintain and they need to be nurtured you know this one Some of these I bought. Best relationship I have is with my dog. <laughs> I'll bring you this. Hard to focus. fresh touch on the back of your head after putting me putting new bed sheets pillows covers on can't be it yeah and just you feel lighter really 
You feel really lighter. I have a serious thing for redheads. Sadly, I haven't had much success with yet. Yeah. Martin, redheads. <laughs> I think everybody feels the same. Well, a lot of people feel the same. Redheads are crazy. Redheads are crazy. I think that one is uh, quartz as well. It's different course cool at a different time when you see crystals that are bigger they cooled slower and then when you see crystals that are smaller they cooled faster that would be like a medium cooling down uh, the only downside is the english winters uh -huh. that's why i got a lot of toques right what do you call those crystals rocks things chicho i know a crazy story about those the the quartz crystals and stuff there's different crystal there's different types of crystals here i don't know the names right i forget there's quartz and some of them come back to me every now and then but a lot of them and some of them are just straight up rocks like this is just granite right i like granite Is with my chinchilla and it, I'm not running about what might okay I heard redheads and I have to come back for a sec our genocide everybody comes back for redheads man <laughs> until until it just goes crazy insane then you gotta run away run away I like redheads I get along with redheads amazingly uh, really because I'm I'm triple Gemini or something, so we poke each other and it just goes crazy. High energy level kicks up. Just don't piss them off, man. Wow, wow, wow. I thought I had a thing for blondes until I met a redhead at work. Been with her for five years. Not nice, Musha. <laughs> must be must be stressful at times. <laughs> I'm not jealous. I'm not. <laughs> that's awesome though that's awesome man i think that's one of the reasons i love ireland so much right or the irish the irish and i had a thing for the dutch they have a i used to watch the pictures of the redhead parade in holland is it holland and yeah in holland uh, well someone put a guide up on how to make those uh, at home from plastic to give it the same look to be used as an ornament to pass on to a loved one at Christmas. The crystals? But the dude that made the guy basically gave them a suicide tutorial. What? It told people to mix plastic and these different chemicals together and use a straw to blow into it. It blow into it would form the crystal. But what it actually did was inhale the fumes. I remember reading about it a couple of years ago. Four people died. That is the crazy story, Silva. What? Did they catch the guy? I hope they caught the guy. Like if you, if you said it was a way to kill yourself, then you said what it was. If you tell people, it's like, it's like selling food that is actually poison, right? It's like selling poison, right? I hope they caught the guy. I found my craving of Babylon. Oh, nice. Oh, you find your craving on Babylon 5. Really? I, I've watched Babylon 5. I'm pretty sure I watched all of it. Uh, I can't remember the character. It was so long ago. I was watching it when it was coming out. It was good sci-fi. Very good sci-fi. Very underrated. Babylon 5, very underrated. Redhead. Irish accent. Hard to beat. Luckily, I'm surrounded with them. Chicho. Nice, Nicholas. Nice. It was bleach and, and something. Mixed chlorine gas. Oh man, what a thing. When you uh, aerate it, aerate it, blow into it, blow into the straw to create crystals, but it just makes the reaction to Cl gas. Oh man. And that would be a brutal death because it goes into your lungs, right? 
You heard about it too. Heard about, I've seen it. It's a common internet troll, but it's dangerous. Wow, I've never come across it. Surreal. Wow. Crazy man. No idea what makes someone do something like that. I don't know either. Uh, they haven't been taught uh, that there's repercussions to your actions, that there's consequences. I remember reading about that coming from Fortran. Yeah, that's where I've seen it from. That was like six years ago, though at least. It's like Joker gas, wow. Joker gas at least makes people laugh themselves to death to a certain degree. Inhaling chlorine gas would be extremely painful as well, right? Extremely painful. Wow, Joker gas is painful too. But I don't think those people are laughing. I saw a couple threads of people that fell for it. Not pretty, no. That would be horrendous. My God. Really? So when it comes to this, that's, that's the pose a question. When it comes to this, would censorship be an answer or turning over every stone first my personal per preference turning over every stone to find the people responsible for it right what would be the right decision to make politically morally and economically i'm pretty sure economically it would be a lot less expensive finding people that did this or the person that did this right just put out a million dollar reward chunk change compared to implementing a censorship policy right and you catch them find out who they are is this the first time where they they didn't know what they were doing right and were they a kid so depending on their different level of maturity and life experience you punish them accordingly right so censorship would have saved lives tracking them down is a uh, when may prevent future deaths because it would make it known to be public a million dollar reward put that out the word of mouth will go out right people will know about this you say there's a lottery that's like 10 million dollars or 20 million dollars every joe blow goes and buys a ticket pays an extra tax in their lives right you say there's a million dollar reward for finding out who did this you're gonna get a lot of garbage information coming in but that'll let the word out and inform a lot of people and prevent possibly less deaths I've, I haven't never heard about this it's tripping me out knowledge is power yeah but we've all made mistakes Martin right really I have it'd be it really suck for it to be my last mistake right just out of ignorance the other one is the boiling glass trick to make a uh, trick to cold water. Oh, wouldn't do that. Saw some uh, some explode in people's hands too. Lots of blood. Ah, uh, crazy. So, Rua, you're going to Fortran a lot. You're surfing the gore stuff. Ignorance kills. Ignorance kills. Statistic. You become a statistic, right? It's like people putting razors and needles and sweets and chocolates for halloween uh, my way to combat something like that is to induce the harshest punishment possible on people caught uh, silva i would agree in hopes it deters others on this level i would agree right some people say punishing people harshly doesn't uh, doesn't work uh, it does okay as long as it's just right it's fortran you can't avoid it you just have to learn to parse through it for the content you want. <laughs> With Fortran, uh, I've gone through it a uh, long time ago. I, I used to go there, not as often as some of the other forums, but I didn't frequent it. But I went to uh, the politics, uh, the politics stuff. So you have subcategories that you can go to. I didn't come across too much of that when I was going through it. Little Mandarins nice 
nice and juicy. I mean, whoever did this, or does stuff like this, they're not alone. The people who do this, they must be talking to others that they did, did this. Martin Food. Food. Munchies. The politics board is different now because of paid shilling. Oh, really? One tactic people try to use to get rid of the shells is gore. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's unfortunate, but yeah. Ah, oh, well, I'm glad I went through it during a period where all this crap wasn't going on. Only time I ever check that place out is for high resolution images. You can get some really cool desktop wallpapers from there. Haha. <laughs> Paul has changed a lot. No point trusting anyone in there. Oh, really? Damn. The, the, you know what? Keeps us on our toes, right? Staying active, diligent, and finding different places to go to so you don't live in a bubble, I guess. But man, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it really is. Maybe the next... Uh, and this is one of the things... Uh, psycho chat room oh, the, 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 I think this is one of the incentives for me to also live stream and start creating content is because slowly a lot of the places I used to go to were deteriorating right corporations were coming in there it was being bought out being paid it was shutting down and stuff so I, I just said man you just gotta keep certain platforms open so I consider this to be sort of a ch chat form I guess Trump tells foreigners to go back to their to their crime infested poverty stricken countries. Mm. Hmm. I guess. Uh, if you go to certain cities in the United States, certain areas in the United States, they're not very well off. All you have to do is look at the stats and read Days of Destruction, Days of Revolt by Chris Hedges. Uh, aside from that uh, we talked about this a lot in the past I got the run Chicho alright kind of side thanks for popping by have a great night you too you too man sweet dreams uh, who can say what is right to do or not uh, or not to do uh, beside common sense a lot of things are subject to interpretation and what's wrong to you other uh see it from another point of view uh, don't you think that humans by nature require a higher sentient being which dictates the rights and wrong in order for them to truly adopt those uh, commandments uh, no cater i don't think so i don't think human beings we need a we need a higher higher power uh maybe we if you want to not call it higher power but alternate experiences so you could do for example just on the simplest most basic uh, front that of something that has been around with us longer than any organized centralized religion would be shamanism right and entheogens would you consider those shamans or those people who consume entheogens and have certain out-of-body experiences are you talking about them reaching a higher sentient being and acquiring experience in combat incorporating that into their daily lives um, I wouldn't call it a higher sentient being uh, we are sentient beings as soon as you say you need a higher sentient being then you're creating a class structure hierarchy where you're a lower life form than another life form and why in the world would be even consider that to be a legitimate place to start thinking about what how the universe came to be like to me that is such a dramatic commitment uh, as opposed to nature life animation animation right? animating matter still absolutely not yeah 
I, I said absolutely not in the longer version. <laughs> right? Sometimes I wish I didn't know what I know. As someone once said, ignorance is bliss, but I can't close my eyes now. No, Martin. Man, I've said this a few times. I wish, and I don't, really. But life was a lot simpler when I knew less, right? But would I go back to knowing less if given the opportunity? Hell no. Hell no. It's, the, the, it's much more uh, meaningful the more you know might be harder but the sweet is that much sweeter and the bitter is that much more bitter Vanessa how are you doing good evening I have a relationship question concern my boyfriend of three years is finally moving in with me <sighs> heavy heavy um, uh, I've been waiting for so long and now I'm getting nervous nervous in what way yeah good question nervous in what way what way Vanessa and you should be nervous moving in together living together is serious business if you weren't nervous I'd be concerned tell you the truth have you ever had a shaman guide you on a trip uh, a room or theme I've learned the hard way uh, when I was growing up we didn't really encounter too many shaman but uh, no I haven't done any um, guided trips I've done experimentation with friends but no higher teacher guiding us through a trip I have played the role of guiding others through trips uh, but I haven't uh, been guided I couldn't trust myself being high I do something dumb and end up killing myself by accident then you should not do Nicholas then you should not do it's not for everyone that's for sure an actual relationship question that is says doubts about the relationship oh I thought I was Vanessa saying it so good question is it doubts about the relationship not really doubts just afraid we won't like each other full-time uh, that is that's what you're living together for Vanessa this is to see if you can live together if over an extended period of time those little things that you annoy you about them can you learn to appreciate that they're a part of him and you know maybe you could talk about it if they really annoy you if they don't do certain things are you willing to do those things for them realizing that there are things you don't like doing and they're okay with doing it and they will return that energy right and do things you don't like right like i've i've met people in a relationship where and this was one of like i remember this right because it really stuck out for me because it was to me it was a perfect definition of what not to do in a relationship right so I was in university and there was a house where um, I was living by myself in an apartment or I might have had a roommate at the time or something and a bunch of my co-students I guess were living in the house it was like five of them in the house they were all in the same field and stuff going through it was fourth year and there was a couple that were living together okay and they've been together for a while now since beginning of school starting really and before even right they were a little older and I was there in the living room and we were chatting it up and stuff like this and the the guy came down and I turned to him and said hey listen we're gonna go do this right now uh, if you're game come on let's go do it man and he goes no 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 I can't go do I gotta go do laundry and then uh, her his girlfriend that I knew as well we're all friends well associates I wouldn't call friends associates and she came out and she was going to go do laundry too i go oh you guys both are going to go to do laundry they're like yeah i go do you guys both like doing laundry because laundry when you're a student is something that you put off as long as you can right and they're like no we don't like we don't both like doing laundry i go uh so why do you guys both have to do it do you both have to do it they're like no we're just doing it together because we both hate doing it <laughs> i was like 
what? You guys both hate doing something, so you're going to do it together. Why not one person do, do that thing? Because it only took one person to do it, right? And the other person can go do something that they love. And then later on, that will come back to you, right? So relationships are really about give and take, right? Don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on the things that you may take care of that they don't, okay? Focus on the things, the, the gaps that they're filling, right? That there are certain things that you didn't like doing and they're doing it. Isn't that great having them around, right? And then weigh it out, balance it out. Try to figure out how is this gonna work? Is this, am I comfortable with this? Is this satisfying? Is this, is this enough for me? Uh, is this more than that I was hoping for, right? One advice I can give you, keep the kitchen clean. Okay, really, it takes two seconds to do dishes, a little bit more, but two seconds to do dishes, do them. I wouldn't go back to knowing less. Uh, just got to strive to encourage others to find out for themselves, yeah. What do you think of normies? Guthrick, I think I'm a normie. I think mean, everyone's a normie. I don't know what a normie is. Like normal? What's a normal? I don't know. I'm normal for Chicho, I guess. That wasn't, what's the scale that we're using? Like normal according to who? Like, what? I know, I, you know, you say normal in the language that comes up, but we have to be more specific. I wasn't really talking about shamanism nor hallucinogenic substances. I am just saying who dictates what's wrong and what's right. Uh, if we are all on the same level, as you said, so why would I follow anyone's instructions? You don't have to follow anyone's instructions. But there are certain natural laws, right? There are certain natural laws. Don't be a dick. And if you're going to be a dick, then you better be ready for the consequences. Don't do unto others what you do not want them done unto you. Okay, really, silver rule. Don't do unto others what you do not want done unto you. Okay. And don't do unto others what you would want done unto you necessarily. If you like, I don't know, whatever, pick a kink. It doesn't mean everybody's got to love that kink. If you have certain moral beliefs, it doesn't mean everybody else has to have the same moral beliefs. Okay. Why does it have someone have to make that decision? Right? Why isn't that sort of a natural order of things? What do you think? What, what do you think what would happen in uh, an animal group, herd, whatever, right? School or whatever it might be, where one of the animals goes around and smacking everyone else, right? If they're ridiculously strong and dominant in that clan, I guess, then maybe they retain that power for a while. But at some point, they'll get injured. And then they'll be taken out. So natural order sort of takes over. It doesn't have to be dictated to people, if that's what you're implying. What keeps you up at night? What keeps you up at night? That's a good question. Let me think about that. What keeps me up at night? When I know my computer's processing and I, I want to know if it's going to be done. <laughs> I want to take a look at it. My, my work, the work that I do online here, but it doesn't keep me up at night. I get up at night to check on it and to do it. Sometimes if I want to get a video out, if I'm editing a video, you know, I edit, I edit until I can't edit. I go pass out and then I wake up. As soon as I wake up, I just go and start editing. I don't care what time it is, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, right? Uh, if you mean what worries me, what some of my worries are, let me think about it. I went to Capitaria early last year for nine days for an ay ayahuasca experience. Cool. That would have been seriously purging, Silva, eh? Yes, it does change things when you don't have an escaping place. That's one thing, Martin great great uh sort of comment regarding vanessa moving in together once you have 
to sleep there that's where your food is that's where your computer is. that's where your work is that's where your clothes are when you don't have an escape uh, things change a little bit in a big way you have to be more take take more care for the other person a lot of for their space right? a lot of people have that problem of living together and seeing each other full-time ex exposure of learning things about one another you don't like but that's a common problem you don't have to worry and feel like you're alone or bad about it yeah normies normies get the, get the real <laughs> so, nice don't like him thank you yeah gathrick thank you gathrick if you do a chicho crystal video uh search you'll see a a larger collection of crystals and minerals that go through but you chose right it's a testing ground it's a testing ground oh don't worry i don't plan to i've always known it wasn't for me i have too much of a thrill seeker risk taker personality and substances i like okay cool that's regarding entheogens nicholas good good uh, yeah that's the thing some people think entheogens or cannabis or anything is you know one thing is for everyone one thing is never for everyone sorry i can't hang out for the end of the stream need to sleep good night dante thanks for hanging out thanks for participating thank you for contributing thank you for taking care of business <laughs> hope you have fantastic dreams man Arthene, you have to find a natural rhythm where you both can do your own thing part of the time it just takes time to find out yeah and one thing i know there are people who have uh, they put one day aside a week where they're not hanging out together they get up in the morning they leave home or they stay home but they don't talk to each they don't they don't interact with each other they usually just leave go out to concerts they, they do something for themselves well one person could sit there being miserable doing laundry or you could do it together and have some someone to keep you company during it or get up to things that couples get up to together during yeah you could but la doing laundry is a unless you can turn it into love right oh this is our reading time so you go and read together and stuff like this for sure but if the opportunity comes up because the the guy wanted to come but he felt committed that he had to go do laundry with his partner right and some people are okay in that relationship it's just it just wasn't for me and it's never been for me right you can do something to free up time for your partner for them to go enjoy something they really want to do right take the burden on a little bit and then there'll be someone there to take the burden on for you give sacrifice uh, but for sure uh, so Rua, you guys could uh, the couple could go sit down they could go you know it could be their time put the laundry and go around the corner and eat some tapas and then come and put the stuff in the dryer and do it read a book uh, talk listen to music together back then the kicker was back then there was no wi-fi everywhere right when this happened there was no there was internet online but uh in the universities and at home at home you didn't read the nav was universities um it was just trippy to me find the person perfect equal equilibrium in the relationship i think it's the hardest thing to find very difficult and even when you find it there's hiccups it just goes chaos and then you need to sort of find that common ground again i'm hoping we can find that balance thank you for your advice chicho advice has kept me on sure quitting for years <laughs> your your house must be full of comic books that you bought for some reason <laughs> where did you find uh, those natural laws or rule so you consider that na nature as something universal which has incorporated laws who who put them there that doesn't have to be anyone putting them there and by the way nature is brutal the number one rule to life okay that life is brutal man like a lot of people say oh, i wish i could be a little squirrel or a little bunny rabbit and hop around the field man 
If you were a little bunny rabbit or a little squirrel or something like this, you're paranoid as, right? Because you gotta look up, something's gonna eat you. You gotta look in front of you, something's gonna eat you, right? There's a reason why rabbits and squirrels and rodents and stuff multiply like mad, right? Life is brutal. Number one rule, life is brutal, right? That brutality experience introduces those natural laws, right? If you're walking down a narrow path you keep your eyes open don't close your eyes and start singing and dancing because you're gonna fall off the path and die all right that's a natural law experience logic but in the end it's your instincts that will guide you through yeah regarding relationships are you on medication I is I have the woods medication no not for me I is I drink tea I have the woods that's my happy place yeah me too long walks in the hills nice 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 whenever you you need to do laundry dishes ironing etc do it together but through on Marvin Gaye sexual healing and it'll turn everything boring uh, boring situation romantic yeah Marvin Gaye is fantastic and I should specify uh, this couple was gonna go do laundry but they didn't have laundry in the house they had to go to a laundry mat right so there was a little bit of that as well re -E. i don't know what re stands for uh sir it's so quiet and peaceful yeah the woods and theogenes i think allow me to leave some painful experiences behind and move on and begin again without the weight they showed me a lot of aspects where i needed to work on myself as well um, 100 percent padre 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 100 percent one thing entheogens do they reveal your own issues more than anything else in the world okay it's self mirror oh, it could be very brutal i guess you're a virgo or an aries why do you think there are so many people Feel they need a partner to feel complete uh, programming uh, brainwashing propaganda uh, there is the element of procreation and stuff like this but and the the collapse of communities right there's a few different factors Nicholas uh, but I, I've known people uh, for a long time and we need that intimacy right and both the physical and the spiritual and the mental and stuff like this Sometimes it's easier to have that with one person than to spread that around. However, uh, as you grow older, you realize uh, you can actually be quite intimate with a lot of different people on different levels, and you can get very, satis very satisfied, uh, live a very fulfilling life without it. One of the other th reasons is uh, self-preservation, right? People have families, so they'll have someone to take care of them as they get older which to me is the worst reason to do anything on that level uh, personally I wouldn't say it was worst reason it just it's a reason that uh, I don't like because everyone has hot partners and appear complete to them but they only see what those people care to show them in public yeah sexual healing healing is my jam Padre, padre. I was born to love you, queen, or born to be my Babylon jewelry for me. I was born to love you, queen, or born to be my Babylon Bon Jovi for me. <laughs> I'm gonna decipher that, Martin. I have no idea what that means. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to any to you. No intrepid how are you doing hey chicho happy to catch the stream on my birthday the perfect yeah, happy birthday intrepid <laughs> i wish i had a cake here i eat a cake if i knew it was your birthday i would have brought a cake I'd eat. <laughs> nice i hope you made a good wish when you blew out your candle fun who says you can't get romantic in a public uh, laundromat yeah this couple wasn't going to i've always used 
shrooms to grieve for others or myself. Odd Meg, how are you doing? Yeah, fun guy. They could be a great ally. Aha. R-E-E -E is an uh, exclamation to express anger towards normies. Oh, is that what it is? That's got to be Fortran. Normies get the R-E-E. -E. Oh, no. Re. That's funny. Good to know. Good to know. I've cried a lot on my uh, on shrooms. Feels good, though. Feels fantastic. Is it true that the Nazis gas kids? Uh, yeah. They killed all all war machines uh, have killed kids how they kill them different ways the turks bayoneted the kids the males raped the females took the ch took the uh the ottomans not the, the ottomans my apologies the ottoman turks the history right they they did that the young turks did that right which one's more horrendous there's so many horrendous acts in life uh, that governments have committed white phosphorus on civilians families in fallujah right which crimes are worse happy birthday dude for your friend songs to romance songs to romance too that's what it was i'm gonna read that again where is it where is it where is it i was born to love you queen or born to be my baby bon jovi for me uh to be my baby bon jovi for me uh okay 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 i don't know if that's gonna work on my relationship also I saw that LSD. It was a moment I truly realized I needed to change. I needed to change uh, some things in my life, which I did, and I've only had huge benefits since. Yeah, Silva. Normies, you mean mundanes? The Turks were evil. The young Turks, yeah. They're, the Ottoman Empire, wow, man. They committed some horrendous crimes. Horrendous crimes. The, the Japanese internment camps what they did to the Chinese oh my god have you read what was taking place pre European World War II declaration and during what the Japanese Empire was doing to occupy territories oh, insane so you believe that there are laws governing the nature natural world but you don't believe there is something or someone who put them there mathematics like what are we talking about laws what do you say we say natural law but it's just mathematics chemistry biology this when i eat it it has minerals not whatever it gives me substance i burn that fuel i can animate this body animation animate the body as bill hicks would say some people call giving birth a miracle right and his comment was it's a damn chemical reaction everybody can give birth to a child the miracle is raising a child properly right don't confuse chemical reactions biology mathematics with laws passed down by a superior being what? what if I send you a minimalistic program which follows simple rules and told you it is just come to be and no one ha has written any line of code code you wouldn't believe me yet something as complex and deep as your universe has come to be without any interference okay here let's take what you're saying that's a bit of a stretch huh i'm not trying to be a dick just sharing my thought for sure and this is a legitimate argument right however you're missing something you're missing something extremely it's right in front of you it's like the elephant in the room right and you're pointing at a fern seat in the corner right here's what you're missing are you under the assumption that right now in your existence right you animating this body you are fully aware of 
who you are, what you are, what you remember. Like try to remember what you did a week ago, right? What if, what if, what if this whole existence is just a ride, right? That in your other true form, your spiritual being, you chose to enter and enjoy this ride for as long as you could, right? And once your body, your biology gives out, you actually can see what really took place and the ride that you were on, right? You're under the assumption that you are aware of and science, we as humanity are aware of everything in the world, all the mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, all the interactions in the world and the only way that we can explain for life to exist is for there to be a higher being, right? Th that is ridiculous, right? Thousands of years ago, humanity used to think there were the, all of existence was built up of five elements, right? Earth, wind, uh, fire, air, and wood. I don't know what they were. Maybe it was a four. I don't know. And then as we evolve, we learn more and more, right? People should stop, uh, let go of the thought that our lives, this whole universe, is governed by a, a being, right? It doesn't have to be a being. Maybe we are the beings. One of the one of the things uh, we gave an example of, which was um, Grant Morrison. I took it from Grant Morrison. So I've stolen this from Grant Morrison's speech at Disinfo when he was given a presentation. You can look this up. I don't know when this was. This was in the mid 2000s, I believe. Okay. He said, just imagine this. Just imagine a 2D plane, right? Flat surface, two dimensional, right? And just imagine taking your hand and putting your hand through this plane, right? Now, if you exist in this two-dimensional world, then each one of these holes, because if you look at it from the top, this, this finger is going to have a radial pattern. This is circle, circle, circle. Each one of these holes could be a single individual, right? But once you're able to leave this two-dimensional perspective and look at it from a three-dimensional perspective, you realize that all of these individuals that you thought was one person are actually connected to a hand which is three-dimensional which is connected to a larger being right then why is it so hard to extrapolate that because that exists you can imagine this you can visualize this we can do this right why is it so hard to expand that to us right now saying that we live in a four-dimensional world three spatial one time and if we cut this our connection to this time space space time based reality that we are not part of a larger being it doesn't have to be separate from us it could be us right hold on and the great leap forward it's bad for the state to do it uh, to other people but but doing it to your own people papa thank you one of the longest empires as well as the turkish empire yeah 500 years the japanese yeah the japanese one the japanese and the ottoman empire was crazy they had the slogan the eternal state while we may may don't why uh physical laws exist it doesn't mean shit oops <laughs> like, what <laughs> you are answering the question how not who but who because there is no who who assumes this a single entity Maybe we are the who. Me and you are who? Part of the who, the finger of the who. While we may not know why physical laws exist, it doesn't mean some being put them there. I mistyped earlier and accidentally pressed center. <laughs> it's a very unfair statement. It's a very fair statement. But only Arabs can afford to live in London. Uh, I disagree. The universe doesn't exist stops existing outside of people's range of perceptions where they are at any given moment is the second best 
of the oops of the dark web deep conspiracy theories let me read that again the universe doesn't exist stops existing outside of people's range of perceptions where they oops where to go where they are at any given moment ah this is the yeah proximity you're just perceiving everything right everything's your imagination is flat man great look into that concept yeah flat man great look at that concept the uh, animated movie fantastic we've talked about this before in previous live streams i watched that grant morrison lecture and when he comes on kind of drunk dude is mixed between genius and absolute madman yeah I'll think. love him love him right we have just started to understand this universe of ours space is the next new frontier and i'm just sad i will not be there to see it come to pass martin that's why i love sci-fi right that's as close as we can get to it and i agree with you but i think it's going to take so long to unfold that if it was happening 10 years from now i'd be more disappointed but where when this happening is 100 years from now or 200 years from now or something so it's way beyond us maybe we can come on this ride again have another world green tech it's understandable that our primitive and tribal ancestors jump to such conclusions of gods and creators though i completely agree with you chicho yeah i saw a little bit of your last book review would you consider doing one for, uh, for one of robert anton wilson's books maybe prometheus writing i have prometheus rising i was actually going to start reading it but then i put it on a bookshelf and i got into other books uh, for sure at some point i'm going to read prometheus rising I, it is here let me get it for you the illuminati trilogy right i bought the whole trilogy in one book uh, and it's new well it's new it's a few months right uh, i don't know when i'll get to it i've done it for um, i've read uh, robert anton wilson's uh, um, wilhelm reich in hell uh, and I've, i think i've got notes in that so if i don't get to this anytime soon maybe i'll read that again because a quick read and talk about it because it overlaps with wilhelm reich as well right but for sure love robert anton wilson <laughs> don't be sad martin just do what i do and never die <laughs> just come back for the ride again eh? they can only be one <laughs> yeah from myth rise is a great one i'd be very happy to see that okay i've heard amazing things about this right it's supposed to be trippy the conspiracy world really you know reference this a lot um, some people say you can't even understand it like it doesn't make sense and stuff at some point at some point mathematics is just one way to interpret and explain our reality and some natural phenomena in a simpler manner uh cater mathematics is the most important invention of humanity right at, on the same level as fire right if there wasn't fire there wouldn't be mathematics right but it's all in steps mathematics is more than just uh in just the just a way to interpret and explain our reality and some natural phenomena in a simpler manner explain what's going on in the world for sure some natural phenomena in a simpler manner hell no not some things that we didn't even understand until hundreds of years later where people went oh wow this mathematics means we can make electricity we can understand electricity that's what imaginary numbers means oh we can talk about the flow of water mathematics has revealed to us things about this universe that we have no way of measuring or interacting with right mathematics says it's there the mathematics says it's there right but we haven't figured out a way to see it hear it 
interact with it, right? It's more than what you just said, right? The universe and the natural laws are some ancient, uh, are more ancient than any science. Just because we comprehend what surrounds us better doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It didn't exist before we started being aware of it. Cater, you need to learn mathematics. Your, your God is mathematics. That's what you're referring to when you start talking about God. The higher being is a language of mathematics. It's math. The mathematics, the physics, comes from the uh, properties of the matter, which could be strings of energy vibrating and the vibration deciding what matter is. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you need to learn math. It will reveal a lot of things to you. Are you sure babies aren't born knowing the difference between right and wrong? Um, I don't know that, no. I don't know that. But if we look at nature, you see other animals being born, and some of them instinctually, through their DNA, code, whatever it is, they know the first thing they need to do is stand up. Mother's milk is there run do this do this right human beings we we're pathetic uh, infants we need serious taking care of nice he's a very interesting character yeah robert anton wilson love him man one of the greatest regrets i have one of the greatest regrets i have it's not a regret but i wish i was in a different space like if, if what happened then was ha happening now right uh I was online at the time when Robert Anton Wilson, I was online before that, but I was paying attention a lot at the time Robert Anton Wilson got sick, right? And he lived in the United States and his medical bills were piling up. And even Robert Anton Wilson couldn't afford his medical bills in the United States. So what he ended up doing, their family, they had a Robert Anton Wilson page, they started putting his library online and selling it and sign books and his tarot cards and stuff like this at the time i was going through downsizing so and i was on ebay then it was like two i can't remember early 2000s mid 2000s and at the time I was in the downsizing phase right and i didn't i couldn't accumulate more stuff right and they sold off his a lot of books from his personal collection signed by robert anton wilson his tarot cards signed by robert anton wilson one at a time each one was going for like five bucks and stuff the books were going for like nothing chump change right and i couldn't accumulate i wish i was in a state where i could accumulate it i would have bought everything right and then they sold everything they didn't raise enough money to pay his bills and what they did they put out a little uh contribute thing on their page saying we need to raise funds to pay uh, Bob's medical bills. Uh, we're asking for the community to donate, right? Within two days, they closed the donations. They said, thank you very much. We have more than enough to make sure raw is taken care of, okay, comfortably. And they thanked everyone and that was that, right? To me, that is one of the business models that I am following right Robert Anton Wilson created a lot of content that influenced many people and whatnot I'm not pretending to be on the level of raw but my business plan one of the things and it is, is definitely related to relationships community and stuff like this is where I've talked about where corporations and centralized power has destroyed our communities my idea is one of the things I'm doing one of the business things that I'm doing is to me, this is me showing the society, the community, that I'm putting in time, man, right? I hope, I wish, I dream that when, if I reach that state, that will also happen to me, right? Period. That is an investment. That's relationship. That's the whole thing, right? So I just want to share that because Ra is a magical figure. where were we nice he's very interesting. okay i'm not sure how the universe uh, existing before we became conscious of it 
implies a higher being created created it unless I miss something I admit you didn't miss anything it's confusion uh, with those who want to give power away but i'm pretty sure i'll make you know that right <laughs> it created itself then us we are star stuff ah, we are star stuff carl sagan i guess morality is a mix between cultural values and na natural genetic empathy human babies are so pathetic because we were born extremely prematurely and as a result as a species are neotonic due to human hip size limitations is that what it is so unrelated but something that i find absolutely ironic is that Ayn rand died in government welfare <laughs> did she i didn't know that <laughs> i have no idea on me. are some uh, primates usually pregnant for something like 18 months it's a lot longer than humans wow yes and it is still too short birthing chambers could help birthing chambers i'm just excited for when we can grow babies and use that makes sense <laughs> I said, i'm pretty sure they can already do it i don't know if they're they're not mutations but as i recall if you had no psychological limits a human baby should remain in just gestation for like two to three years really but we only get 10 months oh i didn't know that well, there should be where babies are pathetic they need 24-hour care you don't cure tuberculosis with mathematics chicho i understand the math signifies a big chunk of your life it doesn't mean it's the an ultimate science it math is not a science math is the language the science is built on communicates it it is still a to tool which we use to better our experience 100 i agree with you there but your first thing you don't cure uh tuberculosis with mathematics uh ma the cure for all illnesses that we have is because of mathematics if the mathematics was not in the forefront we wouldn't have pharmaceuticals we wouldn't have many of these cures we'd have uh, natural remedies herbal remedies and stuff like this right but mathematics has played a serious role in finding the cure for tuber tuberculosis right oh gross that sounds terrible even nine months sounds terrible that makes sense although sexual what do you think about the relationship in the kama sutra oh allow sorry i as who's who's it? yeah i as automat held uh, held back your thing so that, hey man kevin for real kevin for real is 07 <laughs> nice name the cure for tuberculosis is biology biology is inductive logic math is deductive you still need some logic three years toddler trying to escape from his womb <laughs> oh yeah that doesn't sound good <laughs> what do you think about the relationship in the Gamma Sutra? Um, i haven't really studied that i did some uh, tantric stuff just went to a weekend course and i read some of the stuff but i, I can't really comment comment on that i guess whatever works for people right i'm kevin for real is also i'm 14 my girl is my world she wants to go all the way and i don't know yet thoughts don't don't your kid uh really uh, that's my advice and if you here I'll, I'll put a test to you right I'm assuming you're living with parents right or a parent or a guardian if you want to go all the way that means you're saying you're mature enough to do that if you're mature enough to do that then you should also be mature enough to talk to your guardians parents parent right so 
if you think you're ready to do something as an adult, then you should also be ready to talk about it with an adult, with an adult that you trust, not me, because I'm a distant, I don't know you, I don't know your relationship, I don't know your surroundings, your circumstances, right? You should maybe talk to your guardians uh, at what it means to go uh, the full distance, I guess, and what what you have to do like for me one of the uh, discussions I've had with family members I don't have kids of my own but family members that are younger than me that have grown up I've talked to them about sex when they were 14 when they were 13 when they were 15 I've given them condoms right I don't know if all parents do this so you have to discuss that with your elders think about it though compare a newborn human to a newborn other animal yeah a human toddler is actually more physically in line with what you'd expect of most newborn animals but it doesn't evolve as fast also imagine pushing out a toddler sized baby yikes yeah if i had to carry a baby for three years i think i would get a hysectomy hy- hy- like right now <laughs> that means no babies <laughs> Why? So do, uh, please wait please wait martin take martin's advice he's a wise man uh kevin for real is 07 uh please wait it's why we're all hairless incidentally because we're born so young or my dad gets kind of uncomfy talking about it but i understand well mostly hairless yeah kevin for reals uh take your time man 14 i know you feel like you you own the world you understand what the world is about and what life is and stuff like this but i've never met a, any 14 year old including myself when i was 14 when i thought i knew what the world was i didn't know shit from shit really as i got older i understood what love was and what the distinction between love relationship infatuation all the stuff was and it made it more worthwhile the experiences became so so much more so much more tell the message the hindu religion text camel sutra advocates paying for sex will allow that does it i didn't know that i'll have to look that up i guess any advice i could give about that intrepid let's check it out would be that there is a insane amount of knowledge to be taken in about life experiences between 14 and say 18 so take in everything from an analytic point of view and don't be afraid to be stoic cool and one thing i can tell you is between 14 and 18 even before that 10 12 11 to your 18 19 there's so much coming in as intrepid says you need to do a lot of soul searching growing and stuff like this now if you're with someone and i've had friends that were dating you know they had partners for a long time during that period they didn't have the same experiences uh, fully as someone who didn't have wasn't in a serious relationship that they had to do everything as partners because as soon as you're with someone else and there are things happening around you that you want to do there's two of you you also have to take that into consideration so right away even though your partner might introduce new experiences to yourself there's less experiences that you can have that you really want to have i'm not sure if i'm I'm making sense but because you have someone else you have to consider then your pathway may not go all you know exactly the way you wanted it to go you need to compromise it's a huge thing my dad didn't mention sex till i was 17 but he will talk uh if you ask the right questions cool yeah the older generation i think that generation as the kids growing up now hopefully the dialogue is more open 
you're definitely an inspiration to me man uh, <laughs> thanks for the work you put in it's funny we are talking about relationships i think you and the people that uh, check out your videos are very similar to raw and the people who follow this work i mean look at all the positive discussion we've all had because you've decided to put it all the work yeah uh, uh, thanks uh, thanks uh padre I, I i decided to do this a long time ago i like anyone else being heard you know going online initially i consume noise but noise uh, signal to noise ratio was a lot higher there's way less noise back in the 90s when the internet was available now there's a lot more noise so i think hopefully i'm hoping there'll be more stuff like this where people have a place to go to talk discuss grow learn connect do this not noise right uh, it, it's authenticity that matters and that's always been the case from the original concept of the internet it was about authenticity and raw was authentic right he was for real and there are there have been a lot of people like that bill hicks for real right like straight up uh terrence mckenna for real right so uh, i think there's we're in it, it, raw mentioned we're we're just entering the golden age right now right we're just coming out of the dark ages really in my opinion and i believe a lot of other people were all mentioned the 90s or 80s or something like that 90s i think 90s or early 2000s he mentioned it that we're just coming out of the dark ages we we're just coming out wow just imagine what's coming right brilliant brilliant and how many people will go and spread these ideas with other people it's all connected it's all connected 100 percent positive discussion about relationship sounds like norman doggery <laughs> too funny man <laughs> not that i know what it is it's cracking me up <laughs> too funny too funny what fun i'm so glad i was born before the internet bro i read a lot of books to understand the world around me yeah i'm glad that i saw the transition i went through both man martin amazing periods where in the 80s growing up as a teenager when you're with your friends it's a phone call they know you call them up hey we're going here you meet and you hang out and people are not getting information from somewhere else everyone's aware of their surrounding and the people there at the moment it was brilliant i it, i wouldn't change it for the world man i wouldn't change it for the world uh maybe it's nostalgia but it's not it, it was the noise was not very large you had to you have to put in the work to learn uh there's a lot of propaganda and programming and stuff like this so i love this period where we have access to all this information i don't like the noise level right there's a lot of people caught up in that noise which is unfortunate and then from my i'm guessing that noise level is going to die down once people experience enough noise they'll be tired of noise and then they'll look for substance right and that's where it's at that's where it's at fun what are we in we're almost two hours these things go so fast man these things go so fast great conversations guys thank you for that talk to your peers was the best way to learn yeah and people had your yeah it was, it was amazing i liked it i liked it too more i liked it a lot man a lot well maybe not your 14 year old peers peer venture <laughs> yeah sometimes the 14 year olds man i know a lot of 14 year olds right now they're smart man they know more than some of my uh some people I interact with that are adults a lot more than adults they don't have the life experience they don't have the wisdom of life of time but they know the structure of it right i can't even imagine what they're going to be like as they get older right i also have a trilobite from a course i did at the open university nice is 
I like trilobites. Tri There's so many trilobites around. In Canada, you can go to different quarry, uh, rock pits and stuff like this. Limestone's a lot where you can just dig for your own trilobite. You just have to be careful. Make sure you're not on an overhanging cliff where you're digging here and the rocks can fall on your head. Just, you gotta be on slopes and stuff like this. You gotta be wise about things, right? You can't just go out and, uh, you need to do a little research. 1983 too. I don't know. Let's drink. Cheers. <laughs> That's Stooges. <laughs> DA3 Stooges. The three Stooges. The three Stooges. Ah, the three Stooges. The three Stooges. Nice. I haven't watched the three Stooges movie forever, man. Double, double barrel shotgun into the earth looking for trilobites what would your input on a scenario like this be uh -huh. a girl who's like a sister to you has been with a pretty mentally abusive guy for years but your best friend is trying to get with her and help her get out of the shitty situation but she's so brainwashed and torn that she doesn't know what to do i would spend more time with her uh, i've known people that are their partners are horrendous and I can't understand why they're in that relationship but who can explain love right who can ex explain infatuation or fetish or something because you might not know everything about this person right maybe that person provides them something that they're keeping private right so you don't know everything about, about that person maybe secretly that is what they desire at that moment right you don't know but if you're finding the relationship has gone dark where there's uh, physical or uh, there's certain dangers taking place then you should be spending more time with them and uh, talking about it hey chicho how's it going doing good the three stooges doing good just about to end the stream man we're into two hours Replace the boyfriend in that situation with a dangerous addictive drug. <laughs> you have an idea of how to handle it. <laughs> Don't take Soros advice unless I read it wrong. Let's read that again. Replace a boyfriend in that situation with a dangerous addictive drug and you have a, you have an idea of how to handle it. In a lot of cases, the battered partner is the same as an addict, sadly. Yeah. I, I is this battered in intrepid? If they uh pretty mentally abusive see there are people that I've known that have been in relationships where they want the other person to treat them in a certain way in public or whatever it is and then in private you see them they're totally different right so uh, be careful adult relationships are funny subjects right so I would not if it's battered if it's abusive and stuff like that like destructive then sending people down dark paths then you might decide to have a talk but uh for example what was it oh in the in the comic uh, in the comic book the preacher and in the tv show called the preacher right the there's a situation where this what their their partners man and a woman right and they have a kid they have a son and the way this husband and wife they like to have intimacy is the husband is very rough and it sounds like if you listen to it that the husband is beating on the wife but what's happening really is the wife enjoys the extreme physical as does the husband and there's a little bit of bruising and stuff like this so one person gets involved and says hey listen if you want I can take care of this we can make the husband disappear because the kid went to them and said hey can you help me out my father is beating on my wife and stuff like this and he, he was an abusive person there's no doubt but the wife enjoyed it so this person goes and talks to this person the wife and says hey listen we can interfere we can make this guy disappear and she's like wow you don't understand i like this we get our kicks out of this way he's not really hurting me even though i see bruises you you might see bruises uh he's not hurt i'm enjoying this i like this hard all right and then he says well your son was doing this he's like oh, oh blah, blah. i'll go talk to him right so it's miscommunication so you really got to be careful you really got to be careful i know that's a uh what do you call it, a fictional story 
but that does happen. It is a lot of case battered, da, da, da. that perfect surua. Battered mentally, yes. Okay, then have a talk, intrepid. You should have a talk, for sure. But if the guy is that violent, then make sure that uh, mentally anyway, that could translate into physical as well. So be careful where you step in uh, because that person might start physically abusing this friend or might physically uh, challenge you or your friend or whatever it is. Try to tell them, and you have to be sure that your friend that wants to go in a relationship with this person is sincere about it, right? Trying to, to tell them to quit abuse a partner is like an intervention trying to tell them to quit a drug that's destroying them, yeah. Most people will not do until they hit rock bottom. That's the problem with addictions, right? A lot of people can't pull out of an addiction until they hit bottom, right? He would be talking to other girls while they were dating and he stated that he basically only uh, with her for sex. Maybe she enjoys other women wanting him. Right? I've had to deal with uh, domestics in pubs, but I don't turn my back on either of them uh, in my interacts. Yeah, yeah, you don't know where it's going to go. You can't tell. Like Martin will test to this. If you hang around bars long enough, you see couples that are, you're just like, what the? Right? You see interactions that are just insane, right? And then you find out that these two people love each other more than the people that are holding hands and kissing all the time, right? You're like, whoa, so hard to tell what a relationship is like. Intimate relationship. Isn't the decision of activity revoking your right to have offspring means missing out on so much of this life? It's not only being selfish and not contributing positively in the society. I think it's more aggravating to your mental health and well-being in general and it says a lot about this person isn't the decision of actively revoking your right to have offspring means missing out uh, here's the thing cater i disagree i consider children other people's children anybody's kid i consider a child to be my responsibility as well that i take care of children in the community right you ha everybody's child is everybody else's kid you have to take care of them once you start separating ourselves, this is my child, and that's their child. No, this is global child. Children need to be protected, no matter if you're there. Your kids, your neighbor's kids, your enemy's kids, doesn't make a difference, right? So once you show that love to a child, I, I agree, there's a, there's, there's a difference when it is your own DNA you gave birth to. You know, I won't say it's exactly the same. However, the sensation of feeling love and responsibility for children is absolutely brilliant I, I don't think you have to like you said missing out on that you you get a dose of that maybe not as spicy but you definitely get a dose of it my pleasure Nicholas thanks for hanging around oh yeah we're into two Taka Chicho I'm uh, sometimes talk with my fists if they play Papa goes away. It's all catch up. Thanks for the stream. Good night. You damn normies. Like having kid in a good thing by default. Yeah. Raising a kid is is the magic. Don't let go shame me. Oh, sorry, Lava. <laughs> sorry, Lava. Okay, gang. Let's call the stream. Um, I'll announce the next few streams uh, in a few days. I need to sort of um, uh, upload these streams that we did and I might cut up a couple of politics out a couple of couple of rants just put them up as singles uh, I'm gonna load more stuff on eBay hopefully and uh, take care of some business oh probably in about three days or so I'm gonna announce the next streams which will most likely be in about five days the odds are the next stream is gonna be us making plum jam possibly might be another in the next set of streams there's going to be one in the kitchen when we're making plum jam 99 percent. we're going to go pick the rest of the plums uh tomorrow hopefully they're still there they're ripe enough for us to do it 
3 a.m. Martin, that's right. Wow, wow, wow. Today is uh, today is Monday. This is it's industry day. I don't know. If Monday is usually where service industries have off here. So I hope uh, you have fantastic dreams if you are off, if you're finishing off right now or going to sleep. Thanks for being here, gang. Okay, plum jam. Thank you for the conversation, for the fantastic conversations. Okay, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye for now.